Hey, Sonic. Have you noticed that a lot of uh, a, lot, a lot of people and hedgehogs and etc. They're kind of like um, not really um interesting. I constantly when I'm like walking downtown, I notice that so many people aren't that interesting. A lot of people are like they they're almost like they're not alive. They're like zombies. They don't have their own mentality, mindset. They don't have anything going for them. They're just like they live in such a mediocre way. What do you think about this big Sonic? Small Sonic, you are somewhat correct in assessing that a lot of people just seem to be kind of like um not up to anything interesting a lot of people are actually not even remarkable in any type of way a lot of people in hedgehogs perhaps are like sort of like zombies and they don't have their own mentality and they kind of like follow the mob and the society's norms and etc and stuff why is that big sonic small sonic i do believe it's because Maybe perhaps it's just like how we developed as a species, how hedgehogs and people de developed as a species and etc. I don't know, maybe it's just because it's sort of natural like that, that most hedgehogs and people were like sort of like are just automatons and like robots and they don't have any real like mentality for themselves. They don't think for themselves, etc. It's kind of, I don't know, small Sonic. Big Sonic, when I was um walking down towards Metropolis, I noticed that a lot of people and hedgehogs are sort of sort of like um, robots why is it that a lot of the, everyone like in metropolis or downtown are like robots what's what's going on big sonic small sonic i'm not too sure your assessment does seem to be correct though i also noticed this while i was going to metropolis or while i was going downtown or metropolis What's Metropolis, Small Sonic again? Big Sonic, Metropolis is just that type of place that's over there. I don't know about it. I don't want to talk too much about it. It's like a very magical place where the oldest, where the city center is and stuff. And we used to go there quite a lot when we were younger. Okay, Small Sonic. Anyway, but yeah, when I'm, I, I was, I, I don't know, I, I, forgot, I forgot about the name, but I, I think I go there as well. But Small Sonic, yeah, your, your assessment does indeed seem to be uh, correct that a lot of people are quite frankly sort of like um robots automatons and i wonder why that is big sonic is it because a lot of people are just losers and they, they they're just losers and that's how they are and stuff and that's just the way they were born most a lot of people in heterods were just born as losers is that just how things are big sonic small sonic that is quite derogatory and that's quite insulting and etc and stuff and that's quite um that perhaps might be um i don't know that might be like very uh, controversial but i don't know most I do believe that maybe perhaps you you might be correct in saying that most people are just born to be losers most people are just born to be nothing interesting no most people are just born as like nobodies and they, they gotta die as nobodies maybe perhaps that's just how things are big sonic when I was in the city center I was looking around so much and I noticed that quite a lot of people they and hedgehogs and stuff they just kind of like don't do anything they're like they go to the shop and they do like they, they, they go to work and etc and they go to school university etc and stuff and that's about it and then they just kind of retreat back home and they just they don't do anything interesting and stuff they live in such a mediocre sad way they just go from point a to point b and they don't really do anything else i said most people and hedgehogs i've seen in the city center is go from point a to point b and then go back home and then we kind of rinse and repeat what's going on big sonic small sonic i don't know quite frankly it's kind of like um it's a big fat mystery to me i don't know that so many people have like such a linear shitty mediocre existence and people have drugs whatever you want to call it so many of us we just have like a shitty linear mediocre crappy existence and that's just is very um depressing indeed why are so many people and head drugs and other types of creatures and things so mediocre big sonic small sonic it's perhaps maybe it's just because of the way the world is and stuff and etc and i'm not too familiar exactly with the details but it is quite um sad and horrifying and depressing to know that a lot of us are just so sad and shitty and mediocre and stuff and we aren't like remarkable in any type of way big sonic when i was in the city center i just kept walking around and i just started seeing people and hedgehogs and other types of things go from point a to point b and it was so sad and depressing why why are a lot of us so like shitty and mediocre big sonic small sonic maybe perhaps that's just how things are Maybe some people are just born to be losers, not just some people, I think a lot of people, a lot of us are just born to be losers, hedgehogs, whatever you want to call it. A lot of us are just born to be losers, born to be nothing great, born to be stuck in the mud, etc. and stuff. 
Big Sonic, why is it that a lot of us, we can't, like, do anything great? How come it's only me? I'm Small Sonic, you're Big Sonic, how come only us can run really fast? I, I was asking the city center, I saw a lot of other types of people on hedgehogs, and they were, like, so slow, and they couldn't do what we can do. Well, Small Sonic, we're, we might indeed be very special, and I believe that, like, a lot of people and hedgehogs and creatures and things are just, quite frankly and sadly, a lot of them are, like, so shitty and mediocre, and that's just how things are. A lot of us are just born to be losers. Oh, I'm gonna kind of think about that, Big Sonic. You're making me kind of like I'm a little bit anxious about this. I'm gonna go and really carefully contemplate on it. I better catch up with him. See you later, guys. Hello, yo. The topic of this video is going to be about uh, me. I'm gonna be talking about like the uh, the average person. Person that this video is gonna be about like the average person. I'm not gonna really um. Uh, Talk, talk about like how a lot of us some um, human beings were like very uh, shitty and mediocre a lot of us we like like a lot of us some people and human beings maybe perhaps you are you might be an alien or a lot of us were so like fucking um mediocre we're so like not interesting and it's so so like um like um care like you gotta really carefully think about this because when i was like um kind of because it, it kind of relates to my own personal life the, the topic of this video kind of relates to my own personal life because when i was like going um into the city center downtown and etc and stuff like that into into the town into the city center area here in england and like going to like um i'm in birmingham so i, I was like going there into like the bullrings place and etc et the bullring market area whatever you might you should know what that is if you're like from england and specifically birmingham you should know where, what the bullring is you should know about that i was going there i was just walking around like the uh, the, 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 the sort of like the roads and etc and all that type of stuff and i was like kind of walking through that type of place and etc and stuff and i was just seeing so many people and it's quite, when, once you carefully start to think about this, isn't this so interesting? The average person is a loser. The average, the average person is a loser. I know, I know how um, fucking um, pretentious I sound. I sound so much like a dickhead. I like, this guy is a dickhead or a con or a piece of shit. I know how pretentious that sounds for, like for me to say that the average person is a loser. A lot of you are gonna be like, so like, uh, like very very upset but carefully think about this like obviously what well, how would you define like what a loser is what what is a loser obviously there is no such thing as like there is no like objective like um criteria for like for for what for, for what makes someone a loser but if you carefully think about this carefully think about this especially in my in my opinion like especially relating to my own personal life a lot of us human beings we're not remarkable we're not we're not memorable we don't do anything that's like like that's groundbreaking. Think about this. When I was in the town, city, in in the, in the city center, in the town area, in the boring marketplace, etc., I was just walking around. I saw so many people that were like so like mediocre that they they weren't up to anything interesting. I don't know. Maybe perhaps I'm like kind of I'm just being kind of like a, a, a dumbass. I'm like, they have their own lives to live and stuff. Maybe I'm just kind of like seeing, seeing the wrong things. I don't know. But last when I was in the city center, I was like in the town. I saw so many people smoking cigarettes, looking so depressed, looking down on the ground. When they were coming out of university, out of like the um their market, like not market, but like out of like yeah maybe some of the markets etc. I don't know maybe perhaps that's that's not, not even that relevant to the topic of this video. I'm talking about other things. I'm talking about like depression and stuff. And anyway, the average person is a loser. That's in my opinion that is so true. But again, there, there are like there is some subjectivity and personal um opinions on this because wh how would you define like what a loser is? What is a loser? It's kind of like all personal and subjective, and you can't properly define it pro properly and carefully and stuff. What is a loser? How would you define that in an objective way? I don't know. It's kind of very um, stupid. It's kind of asinine for me to even like to try and kind of like to, 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 to kind of like um like how would you define like what a loser is in a in a very objective way? It's kind of like it's almost like it's kind of stupid for me to even like talk about this, but you know, because you know it's, it's so it's sort of like personal and subjective. Like how would you like what how would you like what what criteria would you use to define a loser? How would you define like what a loser is? Who who's a loser? What is a loser? Because it, 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 this video is like very um cuntish, pretentious, makes me seem like I'm just a piece of shit. But um, it's kind of a little bit. It's kind of sort of interesting. It kind of also relates to the uh, the the a the twenty the eighty twenty rule. Do you know about this? The eighty twenty rule. The eighty twenty rule. Twenty eighty rule. I don't know how to pronounce that properly. There's like this type of um. Like type of law, not law, but type of theoretical concept or something similar, the Pareto principle, something like that. From uh, there was like this Italian physicist guy or like some intellectual person from Italy or whatever. And he was he kind of figured he found out about like the Pareto principle, the eighty twenty rule, etc. And basically, in a nutshell, this principle is that like twenty percent is like all that matters regarding like any type of like um data, any type of data, any type of like samples or regarding like any type of research, anything, anything like regarding like um. 
in terms of like um like like stock like um populations and, and stuff like that regarding like um like groups of things like the the twenty percent of anything is like gonna be the most important part and then the the rest of the eighty percent eighty percent is just gonna be garbage. The Pareto principle I do believe this kind of relates to like the topic of this video because the average person I would consider the average person to be a loser in regards to like, well, okay, because I know a lot of you are be thinking, well, how would like, you know, how would you, like, in, in an objective sense, how would you like determine like whether or not someone is a loser? Because it's all personal and subjective. And I do seem like I'm being conditioned very dickish, but I do believe like the average person is like not happy. I do believe a lot of us human beings we're not happy, we're not fulfilled, we don't get what we want. And in this type of way, if you want to define loser as being like not happy, unfulfilled, not getting what you want, if you want to define the word loser in this type of way, then I do believe that a lot of us human beings. Are losers and we're not like we're, we're we're not we're not reaching our full potential and stuff and it's kind of very um it's very uh it's very 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 um sort of almost like depressing and sad that a lot of us human beings are very i um are basically losers again but there is like a, in an objective objective like completely objective sense how do you determine like what like how and why how would you determine like whether or not someone's a loser i in my own opinion at least like if someone's a loser you're a loser if you don't get what you want if you're unfulfilled unhappy you don't like your circumstances in your life then in my opinion you're a loser that's my opinion though that's like how i would define this type of word obviously it's like words and stuff like that these word definitions as well like very personal and subjective but like a loser is someone that doesn't get what he wants is unhappy unfulfilled that's how i would define that word in this particular in the in regards to like this video I know, I know a lot of you will be thinking like, oh, this guy is so pretentious, dickish. How would you, why would you call the average person a loser? How do you, how, how would you like determine like whether or not the average person is a loser? How do you know anything about my personal life or something? I don't know. In regards to like that type of word definition, loser, how would you define it? In, in regards to this video as well, I would define a, a loser as like someone that doesn't get what you want. Someone that is unfulfilled, unhappy, doesn't like, isn't like complete. It's constantly like, um, like kind of like suffering from some forms of like depression that's why i that's why I, that's how i would like define like a loser and especially in regards to this video like, yeah that is so true re relate that that relates to like so many of us human beings a lot of us we are unhappy unfulfilled we don't get what we what we want we live in like very um horrible like um conditions and stuff like that a lot of us we don't get what we want a lot of us we have tr like atrocious lives we live atrocious lives and stuff like that and we're like so like on miserable and unhappy and i do Especially when I was in like the city center, I was walking around. I was seeing so many people, and they're so like unhappy, miserable. A lot of people smoke cigarettes, and they're so depressed. And this is why I do believe that the average person is a loser, in the sense that the average person does not get what he wants. The average person isn't happy and fulfilled. The average person is not complete. The average person is like kind of like empty and stuff, and like, sort of is like a loser. But you know, the obviously the, the topic of this video, the average person is a loser. That's what I'm. That's what I'm getting at with this video. The Pareto principle. Think about it. Eighty, the twenty eighty twenty rule. The Pareto principle. Eighty percent means nothing. It's only we only care about the the, the, the small twenty percent of anything regarding like us human beings. We only. Okay, that actually is so interesting. Think about it, the celebrities. Everybody knows who Justin Bieber is, but a lot of like you probably don't know about like um some like my 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 cousins or stuff. You don't like you get it. It's kind of funny. Think about that. Everybody knows about Justin Bieber. We all we all know about these very famous celebrities. And these famous historical people like um like um like um Genghis Khan and etc. Maybe perhaps Alexander the Great, all these famous conquerors and historical people and etc. But we don't know about like nobody's like like the average people now and not even just now any like think about the in terms of like history do you know about like, the average person that was living in the ottoman empire do you know about some about all like the all the um the shopkeepers that were in the ottoman empire or in the Mughal empire or in these other types of political empires in the Roman Empire, do you know about like the um the typical Romans, the the plebs? You know you don't you don't know their names, you don't know their biographies or anything like that. You only know about like the Roman emperors. Again, Pareto principle: the twenty percent is is all that matters. The eighty percent doesn't mean anything. It's so interesting to think about. Think about this carefully. Pareto principle: we only we the twenty percent is that's all that matters. The eighty percent, the rest of it doesn't matter. And that's why it, the, the, per, this perfectly relates to the topic of this video because. The average person, I do believe, is like a loser. The average person is like so mediocre and not up to anything great, unfulfilled, unhappy. The average person is like kind of miserable and depressed and kind of living in atrocious conditions and etc. and stuff. And that's so true. Think about it. There's like um well, seven, eight billion people on this planet. A lot of us human beings were like kind of like living in very horrific conditions, in dire conditions where a lot of us human beings were like so, so like um abused in so many different types of ways and stuff. The average person, the average human being, is a loser, and that's so sad to me. Okay, well, you pretend like 
I know what you're gonna be thinking. You're just being like a dickhead. How would you define, how would you determine like what a loser is? How would you determine that? I would determine like, I would, like a loser in the sense that someone like doesn't get what he wants, is unhappy, unfulfilled, isn't complete, isn't fulfilled, happy and stuff like that. That's what a loser is like in my opinion. If you don't get what you want, if you're unfulfilled, unhappy, you're a loser. And that's at least in my opinion, that's how I would define that type of word. Obviously it's personal, subjective. I'm not gonna say in a very objective sense that like a lot of us, I'm not, I'm not gonna like say that you're a loser in an objective sense, but in, in my personal opinion, if you don't get what you want, if you're unhappy, unfulfilled, then you're a loser in my opinion. That's my opinion. All of these, all my, my videos are my opinions. Don't, don't like think that like, don't take all everything I have to say like super seriously. These are, all of these videos are just like reflections of my, like my own mentality, my own opinions anyway, but. Like, think about the average person. The average person is unhappy, unfulfilled, doesn't get what he wants. He or she doesn't get what she wants. The average person is probably living in very dire conditions. Think about 8 billion people. We all, and, you know, this is also interesting. We always think about people living in, like, America or Europe. These very, like, first world countries are, like, that have, like, very superb living conditions. We don't think about, like, all the poor people in India and Africa and China and etc. The average person, the average human being is a loser. The average per human being, a person, is living in dire conditions. Is like, unfulfilled, unhappy, sad, depressed. That's so interesting to think about that. Think about that very carefully. The average person is like a loser. I don't know what you're gonna be thinking. How would you like determine like what a loser is? How would you determine that? If you, I determine that by like, by simply by like, I'm thinking like carefully think about it. It's like a loser is someone that doesn't get what he wants. Is unfulfilled, unhappy. I don't know what you're gonna be thinking. You're just being a dickhead. Why would you call me a loser? Who are you to say that I'm a loser? or Other people are losers. How, who are you to say that? How would you determine that in a meaningful way? In my, obviously, I'm not, in an objective sense, I'm not calling you a loser. I'm not calling anyone a loser in a very objective sense, but at least in my opinion, in my own personal like opinions and stuff, in my own personal um, convictions, if you don't get what you want, if you're unhappy, unfulfilled, you're living in dire conditions and circumstances, you're a loser. That's my opinion, though. I do believe the average person is like unhappy, unfulfilled, doesn't get what, he or she doesn't get what she wants. It's constantly like, I'm depressed and suffering from mental health problems, living in dire conditions. The average person is sort of like this. And I do believe that the average person, therefore, is like a loser. <laughs> All throughout our history, think about it, Pareto Principle, we only remember like the, the, the very top percentage of people. You, we only remember all like the, the successful generals, warlords, like um, Alexander the Great, Genghis Khan, and etc. And stuff. We don't, we only remember, remember the top percentage of people. We only care about the top percentage of people. Like even now in modern times, the celebrities, everybody knows about Justin Bieber, but nobody knows about your sister or brother. Think about that. Whoever is watching this video, we only care about like the top percentage of people. We don't care about anybody else. And that's so atro that's like very, um, quite, kind of, it's very, um, it's like, it's so dark and sad. The Pareto principle is like, so, um, you gotta look into that Pareto principle, 80, 20 rule. That is so fucking, um, horrifying to think about. To contemplate on the Pareto principle is very horrifying and sad indeed. But the topic of this video is about like, um, the average person. Think about it. The average person is unhappy, unfulfilled, miserable, depressed, living in dire conditions isn't like interesting, doing anything interesting, is constantly like suffering from physical and mental health problems. That is so insane to think about. And it, like, we always typically see, like, when we're discussing about like um like these types of things, we, only, we always think about like countries like Europe and America and stuff. You don't really think about anybody from India, China, Africa. Those countries like are like, you have to think about them as well and stuff. In, in those countries, like nearly everyone's like kind of unhappy, unfulfilled living in dire conditions, the average person, the average human being is a loser, in my opinion. If we want to, like, okay, how would you determine like who, whether, who's, like, whether or not someone is like a loser? In my opinion, you're a loser if you don't get what you want, if you're unhappy, unfulfilled. Not, then you're a loser, in my opinion. If you don't get what you want, you're unhappy, unfulfilled, then you're a loser. And I do believe a lot of us, we, are, we don't get what we want. A lot of us are unfulfilled, unhappy. Then therefore, in my opinion, in, at least in my, like, um, my determination and convictions, I do believe that a lot of us, we're just like, we're losers. We're losers. A lot of us human beings are losers. It's so sad to me. It's so sad to me. A lot of us are losers. A lot of us, we don't get what we want. A lot of us are so like unhappy, unfulfilled. A lot of us are like very depressed and anxious. And a lot of us are living in like dire conditions and stuff. And we don't get what we want. And we're again, depressed and sad and stuff. And the soul, like think about that. It's so interesting to think about that. Like the average person is a loser. The average person is a loser. I don't know what you'd be thinking. How, who are you to like say that whether or not someone is like a loser? Who are you to say that? Like what, 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 what your, your words mean nothing. Like who are you to call other people losers, other people and stuff like that, losers? Who are you to say that? Like in my opinion, 
again, this is my opinion. Like, if you if you don't get what you want, if you're unhappy, unfulfilled, unfulfilled, unhappy, if you're if you're like living in dire conditions and circumstances, then you're a loser, in my opinion. And I do believe that the like the, this is like this describes like the average human being, the average person, where a lot of us are just losers. The average person is unhappy, unfulfilled, doesn't get what he wants. He or she doesn't get what she he or she doesn't get what he or she wants. Mm, think about that so carefully. It's so interesting. We always concern ourselves with like the top percentage of people. Like we'll, especially in modern times, a lot of us, we only think about like celebrities like Justin Bieber, Kanye West, these top percentage of, percent, percentage of people. We don't think about like the typical people, like the laborers, the shopkeepers, the workers that do all the grunt work and all that type of stuff. That's so sad. And he's like, the average person is a loser. And the average person is unhappy, unfulfilled, doesn't get, he or she doesn't get what she wants. The average person lives in dire conditions, dire circumstances. The average person is a loser, and that's so sad to think about. We, all, we a lot of us, we only think about like the top percentage of people. It's not kind of very interesting. You don't think about the shopkeepers or the laborers or the grunt workers, or like all these like um, people that are getting like abused and stuff like that. Especially in like a lot of these types of countries in like um, the Middle East and Asia and Africa and stuff. We always think about like the top percentage of people, the celebrities, and that is like so depressing and sad indeed that is so depressing and sad indeed top percentage of people we always we only we only think about like the top percentage of people we don't think about the laborers the grunt workers and etc and stuff and all these typical people we don't think about the average people we always think about the top percentage of percentage of people and that's kind of Anyway, this top, the topic of this video is about the average person. Think about it. The average person is unhappy, unfulfilled, sad, miserable, living in dire conditions and circumstances. The average person doesn't get what he or she wants, etc. And that's kind of so sad. This is the average person. We only, we always think about like, we only like tend to think about like the top percentage of people, but think about the average person is like unhappy, unfulfilled, sad, doesn't get, he or she doesn't get what she wants. He or she doesn't get what he or she wants and etc. And stuff like that's kind of... Can you change this? What, 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 what can we do about this? Not a lot, not a lot, not a lot. Can't do a lot about this. I'm not saying that we, like, there, there is, it's like, so if you, if you, if you're like, if you're, if you're like, if you're getting kind of like upset about this at me, maybe perhaps if you're getting like very angry and hateful towards me, you gotta like think about this, contemplate on this and perhaps maybe try and like motivate yourself to change your life and turn things around. Stop being a loser, start to get like what you want here. Like, again, the average person is unhappy, unfulfilled, doesn't, he or she doesn't get what she wants. He or she doesn't get what he or she wants living in dark conditions, circumstances, the average person is kind of like a, a loser and stuff. And that's kind of very um, horrifying to think about, not even now, but even all throughout our history, that the average person, the average human being all throughout our history has not, he or she has not got what he or she wants. He or she was living in dire conditions, circumstances. He or she, unfulfilled, hap, unhappy, doesn't get, he, he or she has never got what he or she wants. And this is not just now, it's not only, this, the topic of this video is not only relevant to the, to the modern times and day, but this is also relevant all through our history. Us human beings, we are, a lot of us typical people and, and stuff, average human beings, we have not, we have not got what we want. And that's so sad and depressing to think about, think about that very carefully. All through our history, the average person, human being, us human beings, we have not got what we want. And that's like so sad. Think about it very carefully. All throughout human history, like a lot of us human beings, we have, a lot of us are, have been unhappy, unfulfilled, we have not gotten what we want, and this is like so sad. Think about it. Think about the average person. The average person is unhappy, unfulfilled. The average person doesn't get what he or she wants. And stuff. And I do believe in that type of way that the average person is kind of like a loser. And I don't know what you're gonna be thinking. Who are you to determine like? Who are you to like determine like whether or not someone is like a loser? Who are you to determine that? I would like consider you to be a loser if you don't get what you want. If you're unhappy, unfulfilled life you don't enjoy life you're like so like miserable and like resentful and hateful then i would consider you to be a loser and i do believe that the average person is a loser and that's kind of, you have to think about that so carefully and intimately and stuff and if you're getting a little bit um upset at me then this is on you to like kind of improve yourself and to stop being a loser if you're unfulfilled unhappy you don't get what you want then you need to like do something about this i'm really pushing you hopefully this type of video is going to motivate you the average person is a loser all throughout our history, not just in now, not just now, not in, just in the modern times, not just in the modern times, but all throughout our history and stuff like that. 
the average person in the Roman Empire, any other type of political empire, Persian Empire, Mughal, Ottoman Empire, any type of empire you can think of, the average person in all these types of political empires was just like a loser, a shopkeeper. We always, as human beings, we only tend to think about like the top percentage of, percentage of people. The Pareto principle, 80-20, we only think about the 20% of anything, of people and etc. But this is so interesting. Think about it. So think about this. Like the average person is a loser. The average person doesn't get what he or she wants and stuff. And that's very sad and depressing. And it's kind of like traumatizing as well and horrifying to think about this. The average person is like a loser. The average person, he or she doesn't get what he or she wants and stuff. And not just now, but this is relevant all th throughout our history, all through our times and etc. and stuff. Even in the, the average person in the Roman Empire didn't get what he or she wants. The average person, the Persian, Ottoman, Mughal, Han, Chinese, other, any other type of empire has not got what he or she wants. The average person all, all through our history and even up until now in the modern times has not, has been unhappy, unfulfilled, hasn't got, he or she hasn't got what he or she wants and that's so sad to think about and you have to really carefully contemplate and think about this, that the average person is, lose, is a loser uh, and that's about it. The average person is a loser, the average person is unhappy, unfulfilled, he or she doesn't get what he or she wants and this is, has been true for all of our history and even now in the modern day and that's about it.